Once upon a time, Marcus Aurelius stated, Our life is what our thoughts make it. With these wise words, let's embark on a journey to simplify our lives in the Stoic style. Today, we delve deeply into the art of removing eight things from our lives for a more stoic and satisfying existence. Before diving into this transformative discussion, if you wish to embrace wisdom and personal growth, you may consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button. This supports the channel and ensures you don't miss out on richer content. Let's embark on this journey together and transform our thoughts for a better life. In life, we often encounter people who cause us pain rather than uplift us. This is a difficult truth to accept, but an important step for anyone striving to live a stoic life is recognizing such harmful relationships and distancing ourselves from them. This isn't about creating drama or seeking revenge. Rather, it's about preserving inner peace and focusing on our own development. Marcus Aurelius taught us the importance of inner peace and not letting external factors disturb our mental well-being. Therefore, when you find yourself with someone who consistently brings negativity into your life, remember, you have the power to choose whom you spend time with. You are not obligated to keep anyone in your life who disrespects you or diminishes your worth. Here, Stoicism guides us to focus on what we can control, our responses, our relationships, and our personal growth. Choosing to step away from a toxic relationship is not an act of weakness, but a courageous decision that prioritizes your mental health and well-being. Understanding that your journey of self-improvement and inner peace is far more important than consulting external drama is key. So, consider whether your relationships are enhancing or hindering your growth towards a stoic life. Making this distinction and acting accordingly may be one of the most liberating steps you take for yourself. Now let's delve into our second point, letting go of unnecessary goals. Life is often a journey where we set various goals, but let's not forget that not all goals truly lead us where we need to be. Sometimes we chase after things that don't align with our inner calling. Here, Stoicism comes into play by reminding us to pay attention to the goals we pursue. Now think about how often we set goals because they sound good or because others are doing it. The wise Stoic Emperor Marcus Aurelius said that our lives are shaped by our thoughts and intentions. Therefore, if we pursue goals that don't align with our true selves, are we straying from our own path? Hence, it's important to periodically review our goals. Ask yourself, does this goal help me grow as a person? Is it in line with my values and life vision? If the answer is no, it may be time to let go of that goal. Here's another stoic turn. Do it quietly. You don't need to announce every change or decision to the world. There is power in quiet action. It aligns your actions with your true self without seeking approval from others. Therefore, when contemplating your goals, remember that your journey is unique. Stay focused, stay true, and most importantly, stay aligned with who you are and who you aspire to be. It's not just about simplifying your life. It's about enriching it with goals that truly matter triggering growth and bringing you closer to your true self. Let's move on to our third important point, avoiding unnecessarily sharing personal matters. Especially in the digital age, it's tempting to share every detail about personal relationships. However, Stoicism teaches us the value of preserving dignity and discretion. When a personal relationship, be it a friendship or a romance, comes to an end, it's a sensitive time. You may feel sadness, confusion, or even betrayal. However, Stoicism encourages us to handle these moments with grace. Not every thought needs to be voiced. Not every emotion needs to be shared, especially on public platforms. Dealing with a breakup or separation is a time for introspection, not seeking validation or sympathy from the outside world. 
Stoicism encourages us to internalize our emotions. It's about understanding them, learning from them, and becoming stronger. Preserving your privacy and that of others doesn't mean suppressing your feelings. Instead, it provides a space for healing and becoming wiser and more resilient. So, the next time you feel the urge to overshare, pause, turn inward, choose dignity and appreciation. When you find yourself in this space of quiet contemplation, you'll discover insights and strengths within yourself that you never knew existed. All right, let's move on to our fourth important point, controlling anger and frustration. We've all been there, haven't we? Moments when we're on the verge of exploding with anger and frustration. But here's where stoicism directs us towards calmness and constructive action. Imagine being in a situation where all your buttons are being pushed and you feel like a volcano ready to erupt inside. What if instead of allowing that volcano to erupt, you take a deep breath and choose calmness? I know it's difficult, but here lies the true power of Stoicism. Stoic philosopher King Marcus Aurelius said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This quote shines like a beacon in stormy moments. It reminds us that real power lies in maintaining our composure rather than reacting with anger. When you feel the surge of anger or frustration rising, try to think of it as energy. Redirect it positively and constructively without outwardly expressing it destructively. Maybe immerse yourself in a project, go for a run, or even engage in a calm conversation to solve the issue. This isn't about suppressing emotions. It's about redirecting them in a way that serves you and those around you. Stoicism teaches us that every challenge and every moment is an opportunity to practice self-control and resilience. It's about turning what feels like weakness into your greatest strength. So the next time you feel on edge, remember that true strength lies in calmness, transforming this energy into actions that bring positive change, both in your life and the lives of those around you. Let's move on to our fifth key point, avoiding speaking negatively about others. Let's be realistic. We've all been in situations where we've been tempted to jump on the gossip train or feel disappointed in someone else. However, Stoicism suggests taking a step back and choosing empathy and understanding instead. When we engage in negative talk, what are we really doing? We may experience a temporary sense of relief or temporary intimacy with others, but such conversations often leave a bitter taste and erode trust. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? What do they say about me when I'm not around? Here. The Stoic approach can truly transform our interactions. Take a step back before passing judgment or spreading negativity. Try to understand where the other person is coming from. Perhaps they're going through a tough time, or maybe there's a misunderstanding. By choosing empathy over judgment, we open doors to more meaningful and respectful relationships. It's important not to forget the power of trust and respect. By avoiding negative speech, you become someone others can rely on, someone who brings positivity and understanding. It's not about ignoring issues or pretending everything is perfect. It's about addressing problems with a constructive and empathetic approach. As Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This philosophy isn't about personal growth, but about creating a chain of positive impact. So the next time you find yourself tempted to engage in negative talk, challenge yourself to choose the stoic way. Choose empathy, choose understanding, and watch how both your conversations and relationships, as well as your inner peace, transform. Let's move on to our sixth key point, stopping the comparison game. It's all too easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others whether on social media or in real life. It seems like everyone is having a better time, achieving more or simply enjoying life more. But here's a stoic truth. 
comparison is a joy thief. Stoicism teaches us the art of embracing our unique journey. It's important to understand that your life, with all its ups and downs, is unique to you. No one else has the same set of experiences, struggles and triumphs as you do. So why compare? That's the thing, every time you find yourself measuring yourself against the shining moments of others, remember that you're only seeing a portion of their story. You don't see their struggles, setbacks, and the effort they put in to create those perfect moments. And guess what? They probably have their own insecurities and challenges just like you do. The stoic approach is about embracing your own story and celebrating your achievements, however small they may seem. Cherish your successes, no matter how insignificant they may appear, and enjoy every moment of your unique journey. When you stop comparing and start appreciating, a whole new world of satisfaction and joy opens up. Epictetus, a great Stoic philosopher, said, A wise man is not disturbed by what happens to him, but takes his responsibility. This mindset focuses on your response to situations rather than what happens to you. This philosophy is not about comparing yourself to others, but about cultivating gratitude instead of jealousy. So embrace your own story, bless your journey, and remember that every step of your journey is as significant as anyone else's. Let's move on to our seventh key point, mindful use of social media. In this digital age, it's all too easy to get lost in the endless scroll of social media. But have you ever thought about its effects on your mental state, how it affects your day, and even your self-esteem? Stoicism offers us a wise way to navigate this digital maze. Mindful use of social media is key. It's not about completely cutting it out of your life. Let's be realistic. It's a part of our world, but it's about using it in a way that adds value to your life, keeping it away from something that diminishes your life. Pay attention to your reasons for using it. Are you looking for connection, inspiration, or knowledge? Great, but if you find yourself mindlessly scrolling, comparing your life to others, or just wasting time, it may be time to reassess. Stoicism teaches us to focus on things that enrich our lives, not diminish them. Consider setting boundaries for your social media use. Perhaps choose to follow nourishing and educational accounts Remember, every minute you spend on social media is a minute of your life. Make it valuable and don't fall into the trap of comparison and distraction. Here's a stoic truth to ponder from Marcus Aurelius. You have power over your mind, not external events. Realize this and you will find strength. This applies perfectly to social media. You control how you use it and how it affects you. So. Decide how it impacts you, and decide how it affects you. Therefore, focus on the aspects that enrich you. Avoid the trap of comparison and distraction, so that social media can be a tool that serves your growth. So, let's move on to our eighth and final point, seeking internal approval. In a world where likes, shares and followers seem extremely valuable, have you ever thought about how our quest for internal approval is affected? Stoicism teaches us where true internal approval comes from and how to find it. Stoics like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus knew that real approval comes not from external praises or others' approval, but from our own thoughts, actions and virtues. So, how does the journey to find internal approval go? It's about focusing on your own voice, your own values, and your own goals. Ask yourself, who am I and who do I want to be? Act not to look good in the eyes of others, but to live your truths and virtues. One of the most powerful Stoic practices is the evening reflection. It's perfect for thinking about your day. What did you do well? Where can you improve? It's a perfect way to confront your mistakes and recognize your progress. 
This practice allows you to find the strength within yourself without needing validation from the outside world. When you find your internal approval, you don't need external praises or seek validation. And here, my friends, this is a game-changing philosophy. You reclaim your inner power, declaring that you're enough without the world's approval. It's about living authentically, guided by your own principles, rather than seeking validation from others. Remember, the opinions of others are like passing clouds. They change and shift, but your core values and virtues remain steadfast. By seeking internal approval, you free yourself from the chains of external validation. You become the master of your own destiny, shaping your life according to your own principles and aspirations. This doesn't mean shutting yourself off from feedback or ignoring the perspectives of others. Rather, it's about discerning which voices truly align with your values and growth. In conclusion, embracing Stoic principles can profoundly simplify and enrich our lives. By letting go of toxic relationships, unnecessary goals, oversharing, anger, negative speech, comparison, mindless social media use, and seeking external approval, we pave the way for a more tranquil, purposeful existence. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control, our thoughts, actions and values, while accepting with equanimity that which lies beyond our control. By practicing these principles, we cultivate inner peace, resilience and authenticity, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with grace and wisdom. So, my fellow seekers of wisdom, let us embrace the Stoic path and embark on a journey of self-discovery and growth. Let us simplify our lives, cultivate inner peace, and strive to live in alignment with our highest virtues. Together, we can transform our lives and create a more stoic and satisfying existence.